to give a real professional performance from the lads going against 10 men, but they've stretched the game, did all the right things and got the re rewards for me, I'll be delighted. Yeah, really, really happy. Um, it's always difficult when, when a team does go down to uh, 10 men, you know, they can be hard to break down, especially um, Queen and South in the position that they're in just now. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, they're fighting for their lives and, and um, you've seen that towards the end of the game where they're just throwing everything forward and they're taking that risk, taking the gamble. Um, but, you know, when we went down to 10 men, um, we just made me sure that we were really professional what we did. We really tidied what we did and moved the ball really, really quickly and went from side to side to open them up. Um, defensively, I thought they were, they were pretty solid. Um, I thought our goal was excellent. I thought it was a great pass through from uh, from from Dan and uh, good movement from Chucky and Moyle to going up the, up the gap for Andy Winton to go through and it's an unbelievably composed finish for Andy and it shows you um, just exactly how good a finisher that Andy is. Part of something I was actually going to ask you about is the fact that Dan O'Reilly and Mihai Pesco both took up advanced positions, both put up great balls into the box but also allowed us to control the game by doing that and it's even though they're centre-halves, it's like you say, you're, you're developing a team that can attack from the back and we get a goal from them. Yeah, today the importance of today was was about getting centre backs on the overlap. I know that sounds strange, but we playing the three at the back. It was something that we had to go and play football on this pitch. Um, we had to make sure that we moved the ball, um, and we thought that our joy would be in the wider areas, being the, the wing backs, and and also with the, the centre backs on the overlap. Um, Pops and Dan are very athletic, and and it gave us that opportunity to go and get an extra body forward in a wider area and an advanced area, so we could get crosses into the box. It did take some time. I don't think we had a shot on target in the first half, so we just had to make sure that we were keeping at it. And half time was the importance of continue doing what you're doing, but can we do it just a little bit quicker and being a little bit more aggressive on our on our forward play? Making closure for Andy Winter for that finish. He didn't take it first time. He opens it up, and it's a much better chance for him, and he gets a goal for it. It's a great touch. Um, he's done un unbelievably well to go and to go and take that touch to come back in the park and beat the man. And he's I've said it before. He's one of the best finishers at the club, and, and he's shown as a, a young player coming through that he's getting better and he's progressing every single week. And, and that's all we look for off every day. But uh, delighted for Andy to go and get another goal today. And he signs that new contract. Some players maybe not take their foot off the gas, but maybe be conscious of the fact they've got the contract. But Andy's got the contract. Takes the confidence from that. Gets a goal last week keeps himself in the team and gets a goal this week as almost perfect, a perfect scenario for him. Yeah, he done earlier, earlier on in the season, um, he done really well, he came on against Inverness Cali and, and he got his, his goal, which really kicked his on with his performance and his goal. But, um, you know, he's he's um, he's done it last week, um, he's got a great work ethic about him and he's got a great personality and great character. Well, his feet will not come off the ground and very humble about his work and what he does and um, he got his rewards today and I was over the moon for him to go and get his goal. Delighted for him. The team unchanged that consistency, is that something that's benefiting the, the performances? I think last week, you know, you always say to players, you know, you grab a hold of your jersey and keep it and everybody did that last week. You know, you, you can't go and change from a, a 4 0 victory and uh, you can't make any changes on that. They've ticked all the boxes. Um, and um, it was just a case of going into to today's performance. Um, can we go and do the same out of possession, but in possession can we go and pass the ball? Last week was a different type of game. We had to play the pitch, which we spoke about. And uh, today was about about making sure that we, we use the surface really, really well and use it to our advantage. And finally, Friday night against the United. We be counting the days to get and get this team playing again, putting on some good performances. Yeah, we're going to recover first of all, which is most important. Uh, we recover and, and uh, we re regenerate and, and we're ready to go again and during the week and, and make sure that we <coughs> we hit the, the points that we want to go hit in terms of preparing for the game. Um, and we're going to next week very, very confident, looking forward to it. But United are a, they're a good side and it's, and it's going to be a difficult game down there as we experienced the last time. But we're very confident at this moment in time, we're in a good place and, and we look forward to the game.